Uh, Chuka the Barber. This is the What Would You Do episode, all right? As always, we like to get you guys' feedback, so please leave comments in the comment area uh, for any questions or things you want us to cover. So, um, most of you guys pro probably already know, some of you guys probably don't. I recently invented a product and it's out now, it's called the Flash Comb. And basically what this product is, it's a, it's a comb with a light on it, so you can always have more light to always do your best work, okay? So, because of this, uh, we wanted to kind of get some feedback from um, barbers as like how do they deal with situations that this product would basically uh, help eliminate. So, we call this the what would you do, all right? What would you do if you cut your client's hair and you were walking them out the shop having a conversation or whatever, got outside, sunlight hit the haircut, and you saw dark spots or lines in the haircut, okay? Now, the reason we ask this question is because it that has happened to me before. And, um, you know, a lot of times you think you got the perfect cut until that light hit it, okay? So, um, we said, what would you do if that happened to you, if you saw dark spots or lines in your client's hair as you were walking them out? Okay, so we had different responses, okay? So, one was, uh, he was like, well, did he tip, does he tip well? Or did he tip? Okay, so, um, so basically saying that, okay, what kind of client is he? Is he one that tips constantly, consistently, or is he someone that, okay, just gives me the amount my haircut costs and never tips? So, it's situational, all right? So, the problem with that uh, question and response is the fact that you might cut him, he might go see that, or someone might point it out, and um, that, that's it. You know, he might feel that um, this guy is really not giving me his best effort, um, he might really, it might really hit his ego, it might be a situation this girl might have saw and be like, damn, you got lines and patches in your head or dark spots, it really doesn't look that well, babe. Um, Maybe you should switch barbers. Even though that customer might not tip, it might pay off in a different way. Because we don't always see what's going on. He might refer people that you never really even knew he referred. He might speak of you in ways that he that you know in positive ways, which kind of brings more awareness of the fact that you exist as a barber. And uh, so you never really know. So there's times to where I've had certain type of uh, you know relationships with clients, and it might not been the best, but Later on, I hear like, oh, like, you know, yeah, he put me, he told me about you. Or, um, yeah, I heard about you through this guy. He was saying really good things about you. you know what I mean, so you never really know. So it's just best to always do your best work. Okay, so another comment was, I will do better next time. And that's good. I mean, that's the, that's the type of mindset you basically want to have is to always do better. All right? No matter what, you always get the fruits of your labor, right? So it's, it's either, you know, helping kind of, it, it might be neutral, it might bring positive results, it might bring some negative results, some things that we don't want. But it's best to uh, uh, really, the good thing is that you're aware of the situation, you're aware that you can do better, you caught it, and, and figure out a solution to do better next time, all right? Because most of us, I mean, we're creatures of habit, we automatically do things, and sometimes we forget things that we want to improve on. So you can make a note, reminder, maybe put it next to the haircut. You know, it might be a more of a difficult cut or whatever. And really just take time to address the situation. That way you can do better next time, all right? So another response was that they would take them and sit them back in the chair. Now I've done that before and I believe most barbers probably have done that you know maybe the client you know they cut them they sat up the light kind of hits it more from different angles you kind of see like the imperfections in the cut or if you walk them outside having a conversation and you're like sitting there and, and all barbers look at the haircuts you know again and uh you know or if you were in public or something you just look at your haircut if it's something you did and you then you see okay damn like it wasn't as perfect as i supposedly thought it was and uh so the the best thing, in my opinion, is to be honest with yourself, be honest with your customer, and sit them back in the chair. I think, you know, some sometimes I think in our heads we think they are going to think that, oh, he's messing up my hair, he didn't do a good job. But I think the customer will really appreciate the fact that um, you want to make them look their best. And if you see something that you can improve on or better at that time, or something wrong with the cut, um, 
Hey bro, can you just sit down and chill? Just real quick, I just want to touch this, uh, touch up this little spot I see. And they'll be like, oh yeah, fine. I mean, they might crack a little joke about it or something. But the thing is, is that you did it, you fixed it, and now you just feel better about your work and they'll feel better about you. So it's just to be honest with yourself. I mean, you never want to start um, um, deceiving yourself and not being aware of areas or places that you can improve with your uh, barber business and um, your relationship with your clientele. So it's okay to admit that you're not perfect, but of course we want to continue to improve. And in order to do that, we need to fix our weaknesses and identify them and address problems with uh, the right methods. All right, so um, leave your feedback, comments in the comment area. Uh, make sure to check back next Sunday with another episode of The Rich Barber TV. And any suggestions, any feedback will be greatly appreciated. And I wish y'all the best. Keep climbing up this ladder of success. Until next time, peace.